Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and More. And today, um, I know it's not Thanksgiving here, but it's coming up. It's our next next weekend. And um, so I'm getting a lot of Thanksgiving stuff prepared and out and about. And I'm thinking about Thanksgiving. So anyways, um, a, a day ago, a couple days ago, I videotaped this little gal here, Ann Baby. And I had asked if anybody wanted to see her, how what she looks like underneath her clothing. I would do that. Um, she's quite uniquely put together and quite a unique um, doll. Um, but anyways, I'm going to undress her and I'm going to dress her back up again. And, um, you know, I'll show her what she looks like. We're going to put this little blue dress on her today. And I got some little socks here from Carter's. We're going to put that on her. Uh, we'll put a fresh diaper on her. But I'm not big into that type of stuff. Um, I like to dress them and just leave them alone for a long time. So the next time I probably would dress her up would be probably for Hanukkah or something like that. Or, and, um for another special occasion. Usually I leave them in their clothes for like the whole summer. The whole, and then I might just do something again with them for the winter, winterize them I guess. And, um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll take it as we go. But anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll undress her here and um, I'll show you what she looks like. And um, she's, she, like I said, she's a very unique doll. Um, like I've been saying, I, I really feel that she's a doll that is, um, started the road to reborns where women want uh, realistic dolls. And this was what was available at the time, as realistic as you could get. And um, I happened to stumble across, mine came from Chillicothe, Ohio. There was a lady there that was selling them. She was also advertised in the Doll Reader magazine. That's where I found her. And um, these were, like I said, right in the Doll Reader magazine. They were being promoted as dolls to be collected. Um, they've not gained a lot of value because they are a hospital mannequin. Um, the only reason I came back to her is because it's my past. It's where, what I, I had in my collection back then. A lot of women loved her. And um, they found her very uh, neat to, to hold and everything. My mother even liked her. She thought she was nifty. So, you know, I just went with it at the time. And I am again. I'm enjoying having her back into my collection. But again, she's, I found a place for her in a buggy, that buggy that I had her in. She's going to stay there. The other doll got booted out. But I brought in a big crib and I did a bunch of rearranging in my doll nursery. Because somebody wants to see my doll nursery again. I do have a video up of what my doll nursery looks like. But I'll do another one coming up. And maybe with all their winter clothes on them. So anyways, um, I don't have a onesie on underneath her. But I should. I have some out in my workshop. And see, this is just it. I'm, I'm not all put together for stuff like this. This is um, not my forte in many ways. But I, I like dressing them and undressing them. But... Um, now, get this off of her. Good thing this isn't a real baby. They wouldn't be putting up with this. Oh my goodness. How did I get it on you, Ann? Oh, we can see most of her there. Oh, there we go. Oh. That was a tight fit. Yeah, <laughs> you're even feeling the pain. Like I said, good thing she's not a real baby. So let's take a look at her structure here and how she's made. She's ball jointed. Into a degree. She can rotate her arms to some degree, you know, um, but she's well constructed. She, now I don't know if John can get into her mouth too far in there without getting shot. Yeah, there's a shadow on it now. Oh yeah, but, I um, can see right down. She has a tongue inside and um, her mouth is pretty deep so it can hold a, a good size pacifier. She, her head flops back when you pick her up. Her head does flop back. She has a soft spot on her head right there. You can see where it squishes in. You can actually feel like the missing bone that's supposed to be up there, the fontanella or whatever it's, I think that's called. That's just off the top of my head there, oh, ladies. Or train nurses? Nurses, to... even new parents. Um, when new parents come in and they're doing their Limoges classes, this is a perfect doll to, to teach new parents how to hold the baby, the head, you know, that's the important part, of course, is the head. Um, not to hurt, hurt this area of the head. How to wash the baby, clean the baby, clean in the eyes. That's why the nose is has the nice round circle, so they can put a Q-tip there. You you all, oh, I'll show you. You also have, like, you know, the, the ears are nice and hollowed out a bit, so you can learn how to clean the ears, how deep to go with a Q-tip into the ear, things like that. You know, it's all about, um, this is a care doll, more or less. And then it hit the doll market, because women were looking for realistic dolls. And um, this is what came out at the time. This is your first reborn. She's a nice, sturdy vinyl. She's nice and stuffed and everything. She She's just like a reborn. She is sexed. So I'm going to let everybody know that if you got a problem with it. 
turn away. Gentlemen, close your eyes. Yeah, but anyway, she, she's not heavily sexed, but she has a bum hole where they can, and she can urinate out, and she can also, they can do um, rectal thermometer test on the baby to get the temperature. So we'll put a fresh diaper on her. We'll do the whole nine yards with her. Now this diaper's a little bit big because I don't have a whole lot of diapers for them. Oh, well, let's turn her around so you can see the backside of her too. So turn her around. She does have a nice little spine. She has a dent in her bum. That was the one thing I did notice about her. I don't know how that got there, but she does have a dent in her bum. So she has a dented bum. And she has a nice little spine going up her back. And um, she's pretty good otherwise, except the dent. She's in perfect condition otherwise. And you know what? The diaper covers that up quite well. So, let me put her head that way. She's got to breathe. So, anyways, there we go. So, my dented bum little girl. It looks like somebody did something, tried to do something to her. That I don't know what. But, anyways, that, that's not, um, neither here nor there to me. So, but let's turn her around. All right. So, let's get her dressed. And, um... But these are perfect um, dolls for... Um, for that, the reason that they created her for, I think this diaper's a little bit on the big side. Oh well, been a long time since I've diapered a baby. What we'll do is, maybe I'll just fold this down a little bit here. There we go, maybe one more time. There we go, Anne, you're looking pretty good. we got to show that Winnie the Pooh off there, though. I can remember back years ago, it's story time, when we're going to cover up poo. I ran out of diapers and we had our first baby. And I called my husband up at work and I said, on the way home, pick up some diapers. But at home, I had nothing left. He had a good soaker on him. So I'm like, well, what am I going to do? So I went and grabbed a nice towel, pinned that towel together. Then I thought, what am I going to do for rubber pants? Pants, Because I didn't have any. So I went to the, next, the best next thing. And I went and got a, a grocery bag, put two holes in it, and tied it up around his waist, put on his sleeper, and there you go. Instant diaper fix. Until my husband got home because he, he worked 50 miles away and I had to wait. And um, that, that, that towel was going to do the job until he got home. And, and it worked. The baby never complained a bit. And guess what? He's still alive today. <laughs> didn't kill him. <laughs> we didn't go to jail for child abuse. No. But anyways, this is one of the dresses that I fixed up. I had to do the... the um, fix the... No, I didn't have to fix the... the, the no, I didn't fix the, the sleeves. It was the hem. I had to re-hem this dress. This hem was all out on this dress. But I thought this was a cute little dress for her. Let me see if I can get her. I didn't bring anything for her head. Maybe I just put back on her hat. Well, she had a wool hat. I should have brought in a bonnet for her. But anyways, as that may be, i got to put my glasses on. Oh, I can't see anything without them. Oh, yeah, there's the hole. There we go. Well, that, this looks just beautiful on her. Now this is a vintage little dress too, and um, had it for quite some time because I've been waiting to put the hem up, and you know how it is, you just keep saying, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Well, finally one day I did it. And uh, let's put those little sleeves up, get them nice and puffy for her. That's what puff sleeves are all about, they're supposed to look nice and puffy. Now, I also brought her, oh, that looks cute, I should have brought her in a little diaper cover too. Didn't even think, see this is just it everybody, I'm just not into this, um, this stuff. I haven't done this in a long time. I was going to bring one of my daughter's little outfits in because I got a box of those. But I got lazy and I just thought, well, I'll just go into what I have here. Back in her day, I used to put a lot of Beatrice Potter stuff on her. It was really wild in her when in the ni early 90s when she was born 1990. So I, I, she wore a lot of Beatrice Potter. So I put some little blue socks on her. There we go. That matches quite nice. Go up like this. Because I'm going to put these. I'm going to take that. Bring that down in a minute. Oh, these socks are nice and soft. Oh, are they soft? Oh, I could wear a pair of these. Wow. That is one soft. Now I got these from Sears when our Sears went out of business, and they had them on a rack for a buck a pair. So I picked up a few pairs of these. There we go. Oh, that looks cute. With her. Uh... It's cold here. We've been getting a lot of uh, damp, cold weather. I was going to cut the grass today, but the it rained. So I'm not doing that today. So why not dress a doll, right? There we go. Oh my goodness, she looks gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. 
Well, there's Ann Baby. Well, where's her soother? Because I don't want her starting to take a fit on me here. There it is. And we'll put her soother back in. I should get her some type of little hair thingy, wingy dingy, or a nice little bonnet for her. But there she is, all done up in her nice little vintage dress. Doesn't that just look sweet? There you go. She'll go lay in her crib. Now I'm going to keep her in that for probably a few months now. She looks good. So anyways, I thought I'd share that with you and all the women that wanted to see this. There you go. That's what Ann Baby looks like. She's a cute little doll. Well, not so little. She's a nice size reborn. Let's see how long she is. I've got a yardstick here. We were homeschoolers. We homeschooled our children. So this is my homeschool ruler. I went and I bought one of these. because so I thought every teacher needs to have one. So she's close to about 21 inches. So she's not, she's a fair sized doll. She's not a small doll by no means. So if you ever can get your hands on one at a good price, you know, about between, yeah, about 21 inches she is. She's a nice sized doll. So anyway, so um, there she is. And I hope you enjoyed this. Now, she's going to stay in this for quite some time, because I'm quite happy with this. I just need a bonnet for her head. So, that'll make her look sweet. A nice little bonnet. So, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. You have a great, great uh, Sunday and a great week. Thank you for joining us. It won't turn off. <laughs>